Okay, so today's the big day. So we're going to be doing some testing today. We've finished our rotor. And you can see it's all uh, set and ready to go. We have our magnets mounted in it. And uh, our test platform is not yet uh, attached yet. Because I wanted to show you kind of a, a walk around it to make sure that uh, you can see that there's no extra wires. There's nothing else coming into it. No funky anything. So I want to show you that first and then uh, we will uh, walk our way through the rest of it. Okay. So this right here is the platform and then underneath you can see the drill press over on the right hand side you'll see where the drill press plugs into a uh, power strip and that's what's powering our drill press. There's no other wires. I'll take you on a little underneath the table here. No other wires or anything like that. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. Going up here on the top and on the back side, you can see that there's no other wires coming down. This is just going to the drill press motor, which is right here. And then this is the drill press here. And on off switch on the drill press. And then it comes around to our handle and back over to the other side of the drill press. So that is the total drill press. That's the power strip. The other little white cord that you see is for the lights that I have over the top of this. You can actually see the, the light reflection in the back. Then this is the whole other side of the board. Okay, so we've made it full circle there. And uh, that's probably one of the, the times you're going to see all the way around it. But I wanted to show that first of all. Um, I talked to you about how to mount up all the blocks and everything. And they're just screw lug terminals like this. And uh, I've talked to you about those. They've got a flathead screw in them here where you can see that. So the only tools that you're going to see me using uh, probably on the video is the uh, little flathead screwdriver so I can make the wire connections and then uh, the meters. And I'll show you the meters in just a minute. That's the little flathead screwdriver you'll see me using. And uh, everything else is going to be done with uh, the meters and uh, setting the, uh, the speeds and everything and, and working with the meters. So I'm going to show you that. Um, we're probably going to back up away from the actual coils and platform and I'm going to have the meters sitting underneath on the table. Uh, I have three identical meters for the testing and that's what you're going to see here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just turn on the, the rotor so that you can see the rotation, kind of get a feel for that. So right now it's spinning at uh, about 3,000 RPMs. This is about the noise level that you're going to have uh, during the rest of the videos. And as you can see, it's very, very centered. If uh, I put my finger up so you can kind of get a reference off of it, you can see that it's extremely centered. We're going to get some really good readings off of uh, this rotor. Underneath is where that bearing is going to be, and that's just uh, a little bit of a guide for us so that uh, we can make sure that we're not wobbling or having any magnetic interference because of that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And that's everything how that's going to work. I'm going to go ahead and get this set together. Um, the uh, mounting bolts are these. And these mounting bolts go through these two holes and will mount underneath on the drill press to mount to the table so that it's not going to move on us and everything stays secure. Um, so there's two bolts. There's this bolt that goes through this hole here, and there's this bolt that goes through this hole here. So I'm going to get those two mounted, and then I'm going to position our drill press, and uh, that's just going to go up and down so that I can get the center of our magnet hole, which you can see a magnet here. That's going to be in the center of our coil, which I have the coil mounted here. I have our other half coil that's mounted inside of this and I've got our wires loose up here because I'm going to show you how to make those connections. So this was just a, uh, a showing of what we're getting involved in here and to start showing the testing. So I'm going to get this all mounted up so that we're all secure and then uh, we'll go ahead and I'll show you the meters and uh, some of our first tests. Okay, so I wanted to show you just a little bit of where we're at right now. Um, I want to show you, first of all, these two blocks that's right here. Okay, the reason why these are here is just to space up the meters so that I can show you. But I want to show you, they are solid blocks of wood. There is no batteries, no funky anything in either of these two. Um, 
if I need to do another video on just showing each individual little part, just let me know. But these right here are just wooden blocks. They're doing two things. One, they're weighing down the table that I'm using so it doesn't migrate across the floor. And two, it gives us enough height so that I can put everything that we're doing into shot with the video and that you can see the meters at the same time as the coil and rotor and all of that. Okay, so first of all, how did I gauge our distance from our rotor? And how that's gauged is just with like an old shopping cart, I'm sure. Everybody's got a few of these laying around. And that's the distance that we've set in our rotor. So you can see where that goes. And that's the distance that we have set right now. It's about a 32nd of an inch. And uh, that's a good uh, gauge so that everyone can see where we're at. Okay, this wire that's coming down right here is the small wire on the coil. This back here comes over and down goes through the rectifier and also we have our AC port. This one is for the large wire on our coil. Then this is our AC output and our DC output. You can see that our other coil is far away and that's because we're doing a one coil test right now. So we're just testing what the output of this coil is. We have four magnets inside of our rotor and we're going to be running at 3000 RPMs for this test. We've already been bolted down with both of our bolts. We also have our coil clamped down as well from our clamp. Everything is bolted into place and I have a clamp holding the drill press in place at the back of the table. So I want to show you the rest of the team. So what I'm using is all the same meters. And this is the meter that I'm going to be using. Now, you can see that these meters are all going to be the same. I have three of them. And all three meters are the exact same meter once again. And I wanted to take the butt back off of one and show you what is on the inside. Just so that you understand where the, the meter is getting their power and everything. It's three triple uh, A batteries and this is the, the fuse for our, uh, for our 10 amps. So all of these have the same exact units on the inside. There's no extra batteries, no anything. Cover plate just goes back on. And um, two screws, one in each spot here. So I'm going to get this all set up and then I'll show you the wiring configuration.